Here in Barclays Center, certainly a, a nice feeling after the Nets come back in the second of a back-to-back, -back, late night, late arrival from Toronto. They've dropped their last two games and the last one here against Charlotte and against one of the top teams in the league and one of the top defenses in the league, despite missing Joel Embiid. The, the Nets took it to the 76ers team, start to finish a whole lot of focus out of the gates and a great execution of the game plan. I'm going to come out and say that this is the Nets' most impressive win of the season. Wow. And not because... Uh, uh, of all the things that you just mentioned, but because they had every reason to not come out and play with the intensity that they did. They haven't shot the ball well. They had a bad loss uh, you know, against Charlotte. They didn't shoot the ball well in Toronto. You get in late at night, and on top of it, as much as people can talk about Joel Embiid not playing and how that helped, there are still three all-stars yep. over there on yep. that floor, and if anything, it puts you in a position to kind of, oh, relax a little bit, but they didn't. They actually picked up their intensity, and they were so, so impressive from start to finish. Finish. This Philadelphia team, a, a big reason why they're so good defensively, they have a lot of very good individual defenders, but the Nets were able to spread it out. They come away with 64 points in the paint. They also generated some offense out of their defense, 23 fast break points. W what did you see about just the way that, especially Spencer Dinwiddie in particular, but we're able to get downhill, we're able to get into the paint and attack this team? Spencer was just, he's been who he has been all, yep. all season long, really, in my opinion. Uh, you know, what I saw is I saw a team that said, enough is enough right we're not going to let this go any further here and, and they played the defense they held them to under 90 points which is so so impressive especially in this day and age so when i look at this nets team and what kenny atkinson has been preaching it doesn't matter the injuries it doesn't matter what our schedule is it doesn't matter what time the game starts or who's playing on the other team let's play our game plan and they did that to a t tonight As